are really some of the best in the game. So explosive, great technique behind them. Certainly you see shades of his collegiate wrestling career. His opponent's got to watch out for those, but even an opponent with good takedown defense will succumb to this guy's shots. No telegraph behind him. When this guy wants to take you down, more often than not, he succeeds. This guy has some of the best throws I have ever seen in all my years of commentating. His timing, his delivery, and the power in which he delivers these techniques is beautiful to watch. makes the walk, there's just something terrifying about guys with crazy hand speed. This guy certainly has it. Good fighters certainly know that at times they can beat speed with timing and precision, but in terms of those first exchanges, you gotta get a guy's timing down, and when it comes to this guy, that is easier said than done. This guy has toughness that you cannot teach. He has an incredible ability to absorb punishment and the mental toughness to come back from devastating situations. tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Richard is the first. Fighting out of the big corner. This man is a grappler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan, Big Daddy. And now he's his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall. Weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan, the chosen one. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the octagon for this one. You ready? Let's go, come on! Nice front kick. Spinning back fist. Oh, landed it. That's Massive a hard hook. Hook. shot is true. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, very nice. Oh, slips to avoid the right. He's looking for that left. Oh! Out of nowhere, this choke. He's got the choke. He might get a finish here. This choke is getting tired. Great job, didn't waste any time, took this fight to the ground and got the early submission. Yeah, Joe, that was quick, but can't say that we're all that surprised with this result here tonight. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time, he wanted to be efficient, knew he wanted to get this fight to the ground and let his submission skills take over. Outstanding effort, even better technique here tonight. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Amasaki is calling a stop to this contest at one minute, 17 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter sharing a moment with his coaches and training partners after the big...